I'm David Strand, a researcher at the Norwegian Veterinary Institute. I'm presenting the study Edney Monitoring of Noble Crayfish Comparison and Refining of Methodology. Noble crayfish is native to Europe and is threatened in its entire range of distribution. This is mostly due to invasive North American crayfish that are resistant carriers of the lethal crayfish plague pathogen. Reliable monitoring is essential for implementation of conservation measures. Traditional crayfish population density estimates are obtained from catch per unit effort using beta traps. It is essential to compare this traditional monitoring method with EDNA monitoring. This might reveal strength and weaknesses with both methods. We sampled EDNA from 8 lakes in Norway. 10 samples of 5 liter were filtered on site from each lake just above the bottom. This was followed by trapping using 50 baited traps. EDNA samples were analyzed with noble crayfish specific qPCR and DDPCR. We detected noble crayfish EDNA from all lakes, even at very low densities. However, the DNA concentration were low and did not correlate with population density. Detection frequency was higher at high density and qPCR was more sensitive than DDPCR. At very low densities, at least 5 samples are needed for a 95% detection probability. In a follow-up study, we sampled 5 lakes with known crayfish and fish population. Here we compared EDNA sampling protocol used for crayfish and fish, comparing water sampling just above the lake bottom and the lake surface. We found a tendency to higher trout EDNA concentration in the surface samples, while for crayfish, northern pike and perch, the EDNA concentrations were higher at the bottom. However, the difference in detection probability between the methods was minor. The DNA concentration were very low for crayfish compared to fish. We compared nature metric filters with the glass fiber filters. We sampled two streams with noble crayfish. Three samples of up to five liters were collected with each filter at each location within each stream. The extracted EDNA was analyzed for the presence of noble crayfish. Both filters worked well and we detected crayfish EDNA in all samples. However, the noble crayfish EDNA concentration were higher in the glass fiber filter samples. The noble crayfish EDNA concentration in the streams were also much higher than we usually observe in lakes. EDNA monitoring works well to study the presence of crayfish, but EDNA quantities does not correlate with population density. Crayfish seem to release far less EDNA to the water compared to fish and considerable sampling effort and water volumes are needed to obtain reliable results. Optimization of methodology increases the likelihood of detection. Thank you for your time.